Yeah, guys, we just got to love summertime. <laughs> a boat rides by. He leaves it. <laughs> his wake, his white capping coming up in there. You just got to love the summertime, I actually, man. Yeah, that's a lake's equivalent to a barge. <laughs> we didn't go down, so it's a good thing. Here we go, fellas, right there. And we are hooked up. This fish is on a piece of chicken. Man, it's so nice to get a, bl a blue bite after those channel cats. That sucker just takes it and takes off with the thing. Yeah, we're fishing this one on a little different rig. Got a little baby blue. He's all tied up in the line there. I think I'm just going to grip her, this guy. I don't think he's going nowhere. It's got him horse tied. Got him horse tied. Uh, he gets all wild when we get down there next to him, don't he? And there we go. And there we go. He ain't happy. Trying to tear up everything. <laughs> Not a bad little guy though. <laughs> He's good and clean, belly looks good. Got a little mud on his side, but not bad. And that fish, he came out of about three and a half feet of water. We're gonna drop him back down in there. And we're on the board here at Clark's Hill, finally. We get to come back over here. I love this lake, man. I love to catch these blue cats. They, they just, I like the flat heads, but I love to bite these blues. They don't dinky with it. They don't mess with it. They just take it down. Morning, guys. Welcome to Whisker Pig Fishing. We're on Clark's Hill today. Haven't been here in a while. Gas kind of came down a little bit. Now you just got to mortgage your house off to put your truck up, but... You don't have to say your firstborn is getting better. We hadn't hadn't been here in I'd say five, maybe six weeks. So um, we just kind of feeling out things this morning. We fishing kind of a little depression on the flat right here. Um, you can see the sun's coming up behind me. Our water temperature is 85, so it's up. The spawn's on here. Come along, let's see what it has for us. Yeah, guys, let me show you this rig I'm fishing. I, this is a, I got this knot snailed on here. That's about a, probably an eight aught hook. And this thing's just got a loop at the end of it. This is the main line hook. I think they call this a Kentucky rig. Most people run a little dropper on it. We just tie it right straight in there. That way when you break them off, it's a lot cheaper. You just take your knot on your loop, run it through there, and just pull your sinker right back through and pull it down. That'll hold it down. This thing sets on the bottom like this. It's just a little small piece of chicken. We're gonna pile him back out there, see what we can do. Nice blue. Look at that sucker up on top. That dude's up there acting up on. Looks like a nice fish. I think I'm gonna slide over here and grab the net before he gets up there. Make sure we got a little drag. We're good there.
Not a bad looking little blue. Dude's got that rig rolled up into something super knot. That fish came on a piece of chicken right there. Here we go over here. Got another one on. Let me throw this one in the boy. Uh, I'll try to get you over here. There we go. Let's get this one right here. All right, we finally got him out of the rod holder. We ain't got line tight on this fish yet. This dude's all up in the motor, in the tail line. He's up into everything. I'm gonna move this little bait rod out of the way. He's gonna continue to pull on us. That's a pretty nice one there, man. He looked like about twins here. I'm gonna try to dump this guy out. I got him dumped out, but the rig's all tangled up in the net. I'm gonna let this guy come around the front right here, grab the grippers, and throw him on over in here. Get your line back up there. Over the rod. Alright, let's see if we can hook this guy up with him. Let's see if we can put El Captain Bogo on him. Alright guys, that's what we come up with. A couple of nice blues. Ain't quite to the team size, but they close to it. Man, that dude's trying to be bit determined to get on my foot. Y'all ever have that? Huh? He's trying to flop around there and get on my foot because he knows I got on flip flop. What you think guys? Not some bad fish, I would say. Pretty guys. Alright guys, we're gonna drop these guys back in there. They are some pretty fish, man. All right, dude, we appreciate it. Come on, let go. Let go. All right, man, we appreciate you, guy. Come on, let go. It took him a second, didn't it? That was fun there, man. Here we go, guys. There we go, we hooked up, man. Hooked up, fella. Looks like about the same size fish. That dude's whisker hook too, buddy. Whisker hook. I'm gonna throw the net on him so we can get him, so we can get him in the boat. Cause that sucker's barely hooked, man. Come on, dude, stay on there. 
little old bitty guy, but he's just barely hooked up. I do want to get him in the boat. Man, look at the skinny on that dude. Look how blue he is. You reckon he's been spawning? That's a little old bitty skinny fish, man. Sucker looks my nutrition on his belly is kind of hard. So we know he's been eating good. We're gonna shoot him back in there. We thank you, sir. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah, that fish come out of, we fishing on the side right here. It's, um, it's about 18, 20 feet deep right here behind us. And this hole is slapped full of fish. And this fish is on the side of it about probably six, six and a half, seven feet, maybe. Probably shallower than that, really. I threw a line on this side and the float was sticking up out in the water, so I had to go out a little deeper. But at least we caught one here, about to eat some lunch. There we go, guys. We got him hooked up this time. I think this is a gar, man. If it ain't a gar, it's so missing a good chance to be. That sucker went straight out and up on top. Let's see what we got. We got something, ain't we? Oh, well, that's a big cat, man. It's a big catfish. Nice and what I'm talking about. This could be in the full big pig range here. Yeah. Get the bait right out of the way. Get in the net before we get the fish up here. Yep. He's starting to make a couple bubbles now. I just got a funny feeling this dude ain't done yet. Got a funny feeling this guy ain't done. Yeah, this dude here is looking like he's in the teenager range. Sucker would get wrapped all up in that bait rod, wouldn't it? Come on over here. Come on. There you go. That'll work right there. Got him in the sack, boy. Yeah, he's got my bait rod. I'm going to just drop and give it some line. We'll see if we can get this guy over in here. Yeah, that dude right now looks like he's going he gonna to be in the 20s, looks like. Yeah, timer just went off. I mean, like 30 seconds. The nice looking fish, man. We ain't catching no big, big ones. That's a pretty good one now. What y'all think about that guy? What's the thing? Not a bad fish. He's in the teens. I thought I might go 20. Let's throw. Let's put a scale on him and see what he's gonna do. Oh, my sucker's gone. Go about 17 pounds. Not a bad one. Alright guys, I'm gonna drop him back down in there. <clears throat> That's a pretty fish, man. Dude say he's ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna come on a piece of brown filet. 
like I say, these guys fishing right up above us, they just caught one too. Maybe it's, maybe they're gonna get ready and hit for us. Go, go. Got him hooked again here. Yeah. Can't tell what I got, but I got something. I don't think he's no size, but he's a bite. Man, I just saw this fish five minutes ago swimming on top of the water work right down the bank in front of me. That is a trip. He was working right on top of the water, man. Let's see how this dude's hooked. He looks like he's hooked up all right. We're gonna boat flip this guy. He quit flopping around now. Yeah, I just watched this fish swim right up through here, right on the surface of the water. I stood up because I thought it was a gar, but it was this black channel, I mean, you know, blue cat. So it's just going to roll the world up down there. You ain't got to get all on my feet, dude. Yeah, so he's one of them guys that been popped in the eye before he's blind. Not a bad little dude though. We're gonna shoot him back over in there. We thank you, sir, as always. Yeah, that fish swims by right on top of the water. Goes right on up through there. He went right by the front of the boat. He actually splashed when he got to the front and he goes right on up there and picks up that bait. That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Getting a little tap, but got a little hit right now. Just a bump, but it was a bump. Looks like he might buy it right here. It goes with it too. He ain't just buy it. He's got it and gone, man. Ah, oh, that sucker come off. No, he didn't either. I thought that dude was gone, man. Good lord, he's gonna pull on us too. Gonna pull on us. Mmm, look like a pretty decent fish, eh? Trying to get my bait rod out of here. And we're gonna try to grab the net right here. Man, that dude just keeps leaving with it. Come on, dude, get out of that towel on. Get out of the towel on. Got him in the sack, in the bag, in the bag. I don't think he's too happy about it, neither. Let's put him up in here. Ah. Yeah, that dude gets us a run for our money there, man. We, um, we just getting a bite here about every 30, 45 minutes. 
we got just a little bit of shade left. It's uh, right at about 93 degrees out here. Humidity's probably 87 or so. So it's, it's pretty wet. And I'm sitting here, I got the little fan blowing right there. And I'm wearing these long sleeves, man. I wear these long sleeves in the summertime a lot. They kind of, once you wet the sweat just enough to wet the shirt, it'll keep you cooler. And it keeps the sun off of me. We're going to hook this guy and take a look at him. Man, look at this guy. This sucker's all beat up and tore up. He ain't nothing but a big old bite, Mark. He's got a big bite on his tail right there. All up on his head, tore up. He been living a rough life. He come by and got a little piece of blue gear. I'll show you that other, that other three-way rig that I fished too. We're gonna throw him back over in here. He done had a rough, rough couple of weeks, looks like. So we're just gonna drop him back down in here. All right, my friend. Yeah, he splashes us up good and he's gone. Let me show you this rig I'm fishing. This is uh, just another suspend way to suspend that rig. Yeah, we got our main line going to the rod, a three-way swivel. We got, I don't know, 10 inches a foot, and then we got about the same. I like to keep it just a little bit off the bottom, and we just got to wait on that same loop system we had this morning that slides through. And we fishing 50-pound liters, I saw them that's about a six, seven alt hook and three ounce chunk of lead. And I believe that's a two alt size swivel. And we fishing 65 pound braid. That's the only rod I got braid left on. Well guys, Clark's Hill did us pretty good, man. We had a pretty good day. The temperatures then got up in the low nineties and uh, my cameras are starting to shut down. So it's time to go to the house. We caught some nice fish. Everything we caught was anchored. I did drag some before I got ready to go and I got no bites doing that. But I'd like to thank you once again for joining me here on Whisker Pig Fishing. If you don't mind, give us a like, man. It kind of helps our channel out. It helps with the algorithm. And uh, check us out on Instagram and on Facebook. And as always, you guys have a great day and God bless.